Well, this is going to be fun, huh? Welcome back to HIP. So, last episode, we left ourselves off uh, with a French revolt, apparently. I don't even remember what the hell started it now. But this is not going to be... Oh, I remember. The king tried to revoke our title, didn't he? So, clearly, I was not a big fan of that. We are going to try and win this one to our best of our ability. In fact, our ability is, is uh, not going to be stretched too far, I'd say. They've only got 4,600 men. We ourselves have... 9,400 men, so I think we are in a pretty goddamn good position. Why has he got so few troops is the real question. Because his vassal levies have been decimated, but even then it's still not very much, is it? Very strange. We should just be able to defeat the army that he's leading, head down to, to the capital, which is currently that place. Um, Oshwa? Osh I have no idea. Burn it down, and then take him prisoner, and then in theory, what? Is this independence? This is independence, right? Are we overthrowing him? What happens if we win? Um, sure, sure, sure. Uh, Francois gets a strong claim on the French revolt. Okay, odd. Um, overthrew me, overthrew. Oh, so we're just overthrowing him. Right, crown authority reduced as well. That's it. So we're just kicking this dude out, and his heir will take over instead. Fine, understandable. Okay, that's going to be interesting nonetheless. So we're at least throwing a spanner in the works, improving our sort of dominance as the head of our... Um, you know, as, as the head of France, as one of the head dukes, as one of the biggest lords. Somebody said that apparently if we click this, that's our realm tree? Oh my god, it is. Horrible design choice. I don't know why they did that. Why did they make this, this, this golden ring is our realm tree? That's so strange. Weird. Anyway, it's, it's nice to know that is there. The other comment that I saw that I thought was pretty important was that, um, one of you said that the sons of our sister who had a crusader cape, uh, crusader cape, wow. Crusader state would count as, uh, would, would get the Crusader bloodline, but that doesn't seem to be the case. Because if I go to these kids, they've just got Carolingian blood. Uh, maybe it's because they lost the state of the Holy Land? I'm not, not sure. But anyway, obviously, the, uh, that they lost Jerusalem again. Apparently, this boy's grabbed that instead. So maybe that's partly why. But I was going to try and plot it so that we could eventually play as one of these kids. Doesn't matter too much. I think our air was pretty good anyway, wasn't he? Yeah, he came out genius. So there's definitely nothing to worry about in terms of. Um, it, I'm putting off this wall. Let's just get on with it. Right. Good work, team. Battle of Troy. We're dead. CK2, everyone. What a shit event, honestly. Oh my god. Really? I mean, that's terrible. Oh, God. Okay, sure. We're now a three-year-old boy. Fantastic. Just an incredible event there. My God. So if you play as a Marsh character, oh, guess what? You're dead. So, uh, sorry, the game's rolled a six. You're now dead. Jesus, what a horrible event. Like, actually just terrible. It doesn't matter too much because, I mean, we can probably still win because we've got superior numbers. Um, we're fighting our ally there. Oh, because he is... Okay, yeah, we're, we're in another war together against the HRE there in an anti-paper war. Got it. Man, that's um actually horrible. But there's the, there's the guy leading the troops. Okay, so let's make sure we've got good commanders here. Now, as a Carolingian, obviously, we do have pretty good commanders. Um, very good commanders, actually. So this is going to be a fairly simple battle, I think. Oh, God, he ran. Shit, chasing down. Actually, if we can grab this army. Hey, there we go. Nice, nice, nice. Ooh, that was a close battle. Very dangerous. 40% war score, though. We want to just take him prisoner. Oh, God, chat retreat's still on. Where, whenever am I going to learn? When am I going to learn? It doesn't matter too much because we do have decisive battles turned on and Shattered Retreat plus decisive battles makes it not too terrible. Right, chase him down. That's it. Hold him there. Good work. Those were sacrificial men to hold the fort. Look at that. 73% war score. Who did we capture? Like his heir? Oh, we got his heir. Right, nice. Head to his capital. Siege it down. We've won. Well, that's genuinely all we'll need to do for this one now. Uh, the question is how fortified is his capital? Oh, it's got barely any troops there. Well, that was easy. Good work, team. We may have died, but... Oh my god, we had a brother. Terrible. That's terrible news. Throw him in the river. However, I mean, as far as revolts go, we die, but we've still won, so it doesn't matter. Um, that was pretty decent, huh? You want me to marry... Oh, uh, you want your... Who is this? I have no idea who this is. Wants to marry my mother. Decline. Instruct him to deliver everybody he's found 100% war score. That's how you do it. That's how we do it, friends. So what I wanted to do for this campaign is, um, quite simply, flip between characters. So... Plays a really nice, pious Christian character. Flip to being, you know, Satanist or Hermetic or whatever is considered um, non-Christian. And then go back to being a pious character. So this guy... Oh, shit. What? Why is that game over? Degain. Wait. What? He, but he's our full-blooded brother. Oh, he's my mother's dynasty for some reason. Why? That doesn't make any sense. So if our father dies before he's born, he becomes born a sort of bastard, but not really. Okay, that's a strange mechanic. 
Okay, fair enough. Well, we, we do have, I believe, open inheritance on, so if we die, we just play as the next guy in line. We don't actually get game over, because, you know, obviously it would be pretty shitty if we were to, I don't know, say suddenly lead troops into battle and then drop dead instantly, because haha, fuck you. So, you know, I think that's a fair mechanic to have enabled. Um, okay, so now we've got to focus on our education. I think we're going to go for duty, because we are already a genius character. We'll sort of see how we end up. It's, it's basically just going to be determined entirely by when we turn 12 and what we've got going for us. Patient, diligent, uh, this guy's shrewd, kind, temperate. He's got fairly good traits, actually. He would make for a good educator. A mother's not bad. She is content, though, which I'm not a big fan of. Um, anybody who's diligent, you're not bad either. Again, we want to be a good Christian character. So I'm going to look for anybody who's diligent and patient. Um, deal, 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 deal. Sorry? There's no one diligent in my court. Okay. What? What? Oh, there we go. Sorry, the game's just freaking out. Right, um, this guy's not bad. Patient, gregarious, charitable, novice fighter, and he's wise. I don't know if that would affect his education, though, because that's obviously a uh, trait added by a mod. Okay, deal it. There we go. That's right, looking a bit, little bit better. Who's diligent, then? Oh, well, this dude seems very good. Oh, sorry, a what? A Waldensian? Get out of here. Day's fault. Not today, sir. Um, I like you. You're fine. Gargamel. You sound trustworthy. You, when, you're not, when you're done fighting the Smurfs, if you could uh, educate my character. Saint in heaven. Saint. Saint not the right believing. That's not my grandfather. I'm so annoyed that we that incredibly pious man did not become a saint in heaven. So Honestly, just... So like I said with this dude, we are going to go for a full piety build. We are going to join the Benedictine uh, Dominican Order. Oh, Jesus, maybe not. Uh, no, that's learning. We don't care too much about that. We are going to go for the, the Benedictine Order again. Uh, let's try our hand at that. Because honestly, our Benedictine character was so freaking good. Why wouldn't we, you know? 200 gold to keep the trade route in Paris running. Well, what's the trade route in Paris giving us right now? Let me just run some back of the napkin maths here. Um, so it's an extra 30% city castle, tribal tax, total county tax, uh, 17.4. Oh, God, I don't want to run these numbers. Fine. You know what? Just let it, let it ride. Whatever. I'm sure it'll pay for itself with some good round management. Thank you. A special tithe from Paris. So I guess all we can really do now as a five-year-old boy, sit here, make sure we're well-educated, and just build up the realm. I mean, there's, there's not really a huge amount to do. It's so unfortunate we lost our last character that quickly. Dirt Track gives us some taxes, gives us a lot of other bonuses too, but more importantly, it's what we need to upgrade our castle to the next one. Um, what do we need? We need Basic Road, which is obviously upgraded from Dirt Track, and a small Noble District. Nice. Obligate the Vassal, threaten the Vassal, do nothing more, just to obligate, I guess. I don't want to annoy anyone. Opinion changed by five, but they are discouraged from factionalism. It's all we've got to do, right? Manage the factions, manage the gold, build some buildings. Jihad for Philistine against who? Uh, I mean, it doesn't matter too much. I don't even know what that word says. Fine. Um, is it infighting between factions? Certainly looks like it. That's no concern of ours. Nothing to worry about. Oh. My liege, my fellow vassals believe that you personally hold too many titles for our liking. We hereby demand you give away the mandoir. Uh, no. Get out. What do, what do they want? So that's just the county, isn't it? Um, if we say no, this guy goes to war against us with 7,300 men. Well, I guess I don't really have much of a fucking choice then, huh? Ah, oh, you big shit. Okay, so he, he gets to die. This dude is way too powerful. We need to get rid of him as much as soon as possible. Um, right. You're on the list of people we need to definitely watch out for as soon as possible. Oh, he's also a different religion. Oh, yeah, this dude definitely needs to die. Ah, oh, news from as rich as that a boy from... Uh, Viennois has received a vision from the Holy Ghost compelling, compelling him to pick up arms and gather the true followers of Christ and lead a crusade against the infidels who desecrate the sacred soil of Jerusalem. Oh, so this is the children's crusade, which we've actually not seen before ever, probably because I'm not played as a Catholic in, in you know, Holy Fury. So these boys are going to try, boys literally in this case, are going to basically go across Europe trying to recruit people, gold, whatever they can get their hands on. And then there is actually a very, very small chance that they might be able to grab Jerusalem. What is that title? What? Secular Revolt? Se oh, no, sorry. Sel... 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 Chula? Is that how you pronounce that? Orthodox? Oh, my God. There's a massive subsect of... Under the Seljuks. An Orthodox Christian Revolt. Interesting. Well, that's weird. Um, we'll just see what happens with that one, I guess. That could be fairly interesting. So, this is going to be kind of interesting. We'll, we'll keep a very close eye on the, on the Children's Crusade and sort of see what happens with that one. I'm probably not going to help him out too much. Oh, God. What's happening to France? We seem to be getting... Oh. English war to make France a tributary state. Is that partially my fault? Probably. Because if we hadn't weakened France, they probably wouldn't be able to do this so easily. Whoops. 
Ever since the ragtag army of Amalric reached Paris, I've received no shortage of complaints from Prince Bishop Gothia regarding how heretical this crusade is. Why is it heretical? I should make an example of him. Um, what do we do? Sponsor his crusade. Oh, prevent my subjects from falling into his simple, simple words. We gain the trait zealous. He's the chosen of our Lord. Can we maybe only do that because we're a child? Um, piss off the bishop, but we gain the trait zealous guaranteed. I'll have my guards beat them out of Paris. So we're just going to beat some children or not concern ourselves. No, absolutely. We're getting the trait zealous for free. Are you kidding me? Of course. We're trying to be a pious character. Oh, God. Are we? Yep. Uh, I mean, as an Englishman, I'm honored. But as a as as a, a, a Duke Toot of Valois, as a member of House Carling, that's vomit-inducing, huh? What is happening here? Spain, the Reconquista, has gone terribly badly. Uh, Engel, Engeland is, I mean, it's just, just out of control at this point, huh? You ask Baron Gargamel to teach you how to fight better with a sword. Those smurfs don't stand a goddamn chance. Take with the pointy end, good work team. Novice fighter. What? You're not sure what's going on in court exactly, but you know something, you know something is. Oh, you, but you know something is going on. Right, I see. Bishop Bertrand of St. Dennis is no longer allowed to see you and you don't know why? Uh, it seems a little strange. Anyway, uh, it, we, so our regent is gone, basically. Kicked out? N no? Our regent is still around, but he's not allowed to see us anymore. That's a little odd. Um, I don't like the implications of that. The conversion of this place that I'm not going to try and pronounce. Somewhere in uh, Estonia, apparently. Sure, why not? I imagine all the, um, the sort of old pagan states are going to start converting now. So Sweden and Norway already are... Uh, wow, Catholicism's pretty huge this time around, huh? It's not doing too badly. Um, yeah, so, Iceland, little tiny holdout there of, uh, oh, that's Waldensian, right. Little tiny little bit of, I assume this is Eric the Heathen as well. Um, yeah, like England II, I guess not, is also Catholic. They just convert the last of their actual provinces. Still got whatever the, the this equivalent of Swimanesco is. Um, that, which I'm not going to try and pronounce. Finnic paganism. Hmm, not too bad. Amalric claimed the tides of the Mediterranean Sea would split open at the arrival of his army, allowing his warriors to cross unscathed. Unfortunately, this did not happen for some strange reason. Uh, what do we want to do? Do we want to send them some troops, which gives us 20 piety, but we lose... Oh, 10%... Oh, minus 10% revolt risk because 10% of our garrisons are leaving. Uh, we could send them some stuff. We could send them some money. Uh, send them a lot of money. All I pray they'll find passage. Oh, man, do I care that much? Do I kind of would like to see a children's crusade winning, though. That would be incredible. Um, what, I mean, what's that going to do for him, though? We just lose garrisons? Is that actually going to help him win the war? Pff, why not? We're not, we're not going to get to war anytime soon. We're a tiny child. Let's sack our steward in favor of this Celtic dude instead. 25 stewardship is significantly better. What's the chance of collecting taxes? 28.5% uh, chance yearly of the tithe and then 62% flat tax increase. That is very, very good. Our mother is our spy master, so we're not going to do much better than, than her for people who, who don't want to kill us. Could send her off to study tech. It seems a shame just to keep us scheming, but... I mean, she's going to keep us safe. She's also got fairly good intrigue as well. Not fantastic, but fairly good. So we might as well just keep her around. No one's going to bribe her, let's put it that way. My vassal, Prince Bishop, this guy's requested a low rank vassal. Oh, we can impress him with our diplomacy at the age of seven. I mean, oh my god, we're a good character, huh? Seven years old, nine diplomacy, nine martial, eleven stewardship? Sure, impress him with vague promises. Well done, seven-year-old boy. Nice. Well done, Gargamel. Second level. What is that giving us? Uh, plus 20 personal combat. So I think these actually only give personal combat, don't they? Um, rather than giving any form of martial. Why are our levies so low? Oh, they are just low because that's sort of around where they should be. Um, we've got another thousand to reinforce there. But this vassal is very, very much worrying me up in Artois um, with his 8,000 men. He actually himself does not have many much, much martial, huh? It's just because he's got so much land. We need to take all... I can't believe he actually took our old capital as well. We need to grab all of this back. So what I've actually started to do here is fabricate claims on Artois. We'll just go and legitimately revoke all of his titles. I saw that the private chambers of Gargamel were very messy. Mainly it's conscientious, conscientious. Actually a good trait, so we'll, we'll try and gain that. Um, that will give us either diligent or temperate. So absolutely we're going to go for that one. Especially as we're trying to be a nice pious Catholic. When we get for like a... Oh, our mother as a regent is great, great news. She's only 28 as well. That is actually fantastic news. I mean, how about a Christ, like like a pious warrior this time around? We've had like um, a sort of... We, well, I mean, weirdly enough, an intrigue sort of sneaky pious man. Then we had, I mean, a, a diplomat evil guy. So now we'll go for a martial-based, you know, pious Christian. 
constantly keep the gameplay evolving. I think that's a pretty good plan. Let's impress it with vague promises. <laughs> Eight-year-old boy, 10 diplomacy. I mean, the 12 stewardship is just nuts at this stage. Oh! Gain the trait novice diplomat as well. I didn't know you could get both trained fighter and novice diplomat. That's very, very cool. News from China. Don't really care that much, gonna be honest. Ah, so maybe it is like a childhood thing as well as um, something people gain at your court. Maybe it is just a childhood thing then in hindsight. Maybe I was wrong about that. Get minor training in the art of diplomacy. This could be very, very good. Um, this guy wants a contribution to the realm is so significant as military strength. He wants to see it on the council, huh? Um, I'll see what I can do. What has he got? He's got 25 marshal. Who's this dude? Just a randomer? Okay, absolutely. Put him on the council then. It's, it's two points difference, and we're keeping this vassal happy. Um, just organize the army for now. So this dude is really not happy with us to the extent that actually he's founded a council to overthrow us. Um, yeah, so, uh, sorry, a, a faction to overthrow us. Albert Carling, our cousin for Valois. Um, I mean, I'd love to sway him or send him some gold or anything. There's not a lot we can do right now. Um, he also wants to see it on the council. Oh, he's shit at everything though, my dude. Um... Just make him up. Fuck. Oh, God. That's difficult. Um, Marshal, I would be happy to give him, but we made the other dude our Marshal. Diplomacy. Oh, stewardship is, is very valuable to us right now because our taxes, but also, I mean, do we want stewardship or do we want open rebellion? And when I phrase it like that, I think I would prefer to, you know, seeing as we're going to be spending money on stopping the open rebellion anyway. Fine. What's his name? Uh, Comte Robert. Right. So we're looking for Robert of this dude with his bloody five stewardship poor administrator great welcome aboard there we go that's basically stopped his rebellion right there we can apparently write a book even though we're uh we're what 10 years old let's write a book why the hell not Plexity of war well i did want to go for a martial character this time around but something in honor of god also might work what books have we have we got right now is a real question um confessions of brother Lobaget, that's terrible uh, Nostromine's Chronicle of Economic Principle, also not great. Carlin Cookbook, also pretty terrible. Um, have we got Managing a Realm? No. Uh, wow, this is hard. I'm gonna go with the Marshall theme, just because we have no Marshall books, and I think we're gonna be going to war quite frequently, uh, based on the fact that all of our vassals hate us. We have people constantly joining and, and leaving factions. We've got plots against as well, active plots still. So, yeah, I think war is basically inevitable at this stage. Now, what I'm trying to do on the subject of that is get us to the next level of keep for another 10% levy size 275 gold oh god the castle wars cost like 270 so this is not a cheap upgrade the children's crusade 106,000 men versus 24,000 um he does not stand alone what do you mean by that oh Duke two and almarek of the children's crusade well this is going to be interesting uh i'll uh, do, does he even need our help? Where, where are his troops? Oh, they're there. Oh, God, they're all dying to attrition. Well, good luck. He actually could win this. I'm not even kidding. He, he is. I think he's actually probably got this in the bag. Um, Made it to affection. Do we want affectionate? It's good for a diplomat, I guess. Um, Kind, content, trusting. Kind is terrible. Con uh, maybe not. We'll just take the plus one diplomacy in that case. I think they've got this. I genuinely do. Because this dude is... is what, what religion is he again? Um, I think he was Sunny, right? Yeah, and who are the people surrounding him? Uh, Sonny, but they're also in the middle of a civil war. Oh, they're in the middle of about 500 wars. Oh my god. Go, Children's Crusade. You can do it. I believe in you. Well, I wondered when this would show up. Message about revoked title. Failure to hand it over peacefully will lead to war. Oh my god, people have joined us. Oh, people have joined us. Hang on. This is great. Um, so it's us... 26,000 men versus him. <laughs> it turns out he was not very good king, huh? Not very well liked. Why have you boys all agreed to join me? I appreciate it, but holy shit, my dude. 100 opinion. Leader of the rebellion. Oh, plus 500. Right, okay, so so people just wanted to rebel against France anyway, and they're, they're sort of taking the opportunity. Well, I mean, that's incredibly good. Holy, well, we're just going to annihilate them. Like, you don't stand a goddamn chance. More importantly, Children's Crusade actually holding it down. Um... Over to Jerusalem, see what they're doing before we before we get too involved in our own war. Oh Jesus, he's actually gone insane. They've got this. They're not being joined by anyone else. Like no one else is joining the Crusade. Right, so they're a different religions. So that's obviously uh... these boys are in the middle of three different wars. So they're not going to join them either. Oh, that's so cool. Like we're actually going to see a successful Children's Crusade. Um, 
Anyway, we're getting too distracted. We've got our own war to deal with right now. Um, pretty sizable one at that. Okay. Um, I guess for the most part... So, okay, swing around. I don't know why we sent you in Knights of Malta. Blessed are the Knights of Malta. I'm sure they are. I guess that's just another generic holy order. Sweet. Um, it's probably going to be fairly easy, huh? 8%? Just head to the... Where, where is he? Is he? He is leading troops. Where is he? Um, south somewhere in this mist. He's only got 1,000 men, though. This is just... This is absurd. This is a massacre. We've got to be careful we don't lose troops fighting England randomly. Burn an apostate? Absolutely. I'll take some free piety if you're, if you're offering. Is that him? Uh, nope. Where is he? Uh, where have you gone? I thought you were leading troops. Oh, he's all the way south. I see. Right. Send this army south. Oh, we've also got an army there, so we didn't really need to do that. Um, you boys might as well just hang around and come and tidy up what we've got kicking around here. We're taking the capital. Speaking of which, actually move down and actually take the capital. Right, this war is done. I rule in the French Revolt. Here's now my steward. Um, I'm not annoying my vassals. We can't really afford to do that anymore. 76% Children's Crusade. Incredible. Um, <laughs> that's actually ridiculous. Fine. Uh, I could probably ask Gorcha for some sort of draft. Fine, embrace the quality of our work, even though we are 10 years old, 11 years old. We're writing quite a treatise on warfare. To be honest, are you going to blame him? Look at this shit. We're really holding it down here. Plus, we, we were the only people to actually back the Children's Crusade, and they're winning. So you know what? As far as military decisions go, I feel like our boys really got it down. Um, Battle of Moroi, we've got another important decision here. What is that? Seek treatment for illness. What's wrong with us? Vomiting. Oh, right, from where we were trying to read our book. Yeah, no point seeking treatment for that because that would just disappear. 35% war score. So we've got to capture him. Where has he gone now, then? Um, let's keep a close eye on him because if we obviously beat him in battle... Sorry, where is he? He's in Paris. Right, okay. Oh, right, he's leading those three men there. Brave. Very brave. Got him. 39. Nope. Okay, so we've just basically got to keep tracking down the armies he's personally leading in the hopes that eventually we, we, we nab them, you know? Um, we're all personally leading troops. Roger of Bourbon? Sure, why the hell not? Oh. I didn't notice that. King of England has joined in. Right. Okay. Uh, wow. Put him in irons. Fine. 6% war score. Jesus, England, why? Okay, well, we've got... Look at this. We've got enough troops, I think, to uh, sort of equal things out here. The only reason that they've we've lost war score is where they've sieged Anju. So let's head back over. See if we can't with our... Oh, we've got more than enough troops to be able to take him out. The issue is river crossings bloody everywhere. Um, meet up here, and then we'll just take the river crossing. Oh, nice, 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 nice. That's great news. Stop. Merge. Can we catch them? So they're heading down south. Um, we might as well start heading down that way and see if we can't cut them off. We absolutely can. Where are they heading to? They're heading to somewhere. This one here. Are they movement locked? They're movement locked. We've got them. We've got them, boys. Oh, England, you're doomed. Our enemy has died. <laughs> well, that's the best case scenario, because honestly, um, it's just costing us money, obviously, to keep these troops raised. And more to the point, if we win the war, all we'd have got is prestige anyway. We've still got Paris, yeah? Incredible. Um, who is it now? A one-year-old girl. Okay. That could be good, because I'm going to do this. She's going to say no. Matrilineally, she'll agree. Kind of a bit pointless, though, huh? Would stop her revoking our title... Um, I feel like we need to do something with this, don't we? Baptized by the Pope. Cool. It's a shame. She, she, there's no way she will ever accept, unfortunately, a uh, a betrothal with us matrilineally, naturally. Uh, sorry, non-matrilineally, I should say, because that would be ridiculous. Um, prefer a matrilineal. Actually, a base reluctance is not too bad. Um, maybe we could convince her to, that this is a great idea. Send her a gift. Her... Where is she? There we go. Um... Sorry? Just yes. Just yes? Just yes? We're doing this? Well, there we go. Well done, team. Good work. Uh, I feel like that's probably going to hold the round together a little bit, huh? Why? Uh, is it, was it just sending the gift? I suppose she was only minus two. I wish it had a breakdown of why she would accept as well. Huh. Wisdom and Mercy are legendary. The heroic Duke Toot. <laughs> ah, well done, team. That's it. Com campaign complete, I guess. Oh, sweet. Okay, so this is also what we were looking for as well. My work in our task seems to have come to fruition by cajoling, extorting, threatening, blah, 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 blah. Incredible. Um, can we also launch plots as a kid? Is that is that something we can do? No, we can't. Uh, can we do any plots at all? I mean, no suitable plots available. How old are we? Twelve. That's a real shame. Um... 
Obviously, running some plots here would be pretty nice. Fine. You know, it doesn't matter too much. Let's keep diligent. Diligent is obviously fantastic. Oh, my God. This is all... It's all going so well. We've turned away... Oh, we needed a better steward. Honestly, that dude... We'll just send him some gold. We can send him some gold. 156 gold, though. Ugh. Let's see. Okay, let's go join court. Yeah, see who actually wants to join us. Sort by stewardship. These guys are good. Um, let's invite you to court, then. Let's also see if we can't find ourselves... So, diplo range. Yes. See if we can't find ourselves a good spy master who likes us. Um, oh, you know what? We want to do join court. Yes, as well, genius. Uh, what have we got then? 31. I'm, I'm thinking we send him a gift. And honestly, a spy master with 25 intrigue that likes us a little bit is going to be better than a spy master with 13 intrigue that likes us a lot. So, I don't know. Because she's also our region, isn't she? Uh, I suppose. You know what? It's fine. We've got ourselves a better steward. That's all I was really after here. We could send this dude a gift. Can we maybe send him an honorary title or anything? Um, we could also... Probably not a bad idea. We could also just send our dude over there, our chancellor over there, to go and improve relations because he's a landed character. Um, so this one here. Oh, he's the guy that we're going to go to war with anyway. So who really cares if we annoy him, huh? Fabricating claims on his titles as well. Um, Furious minus 20, I assume, is because of that. Fuck it, sack him. He's going to hate us no matter what. If we keep going the way we're going, if, if we're doing well with what we want to do, he's going to hate us, so it doesn't matter. Sack him. Paris, good. Sure, that's fine. I mean, we're apparently going to get the France in a generation anyway. Why did she agree to that? I just don't get it. Because the game normally does not do that at all. Um, so there's no way to check, huh? More importantly, let's just watch this happen as well. Because this, I feel like, is something that would not normally normally occur. Burning apostates. I'm all good for burning apostates. Second, they take this one. I think it's going to be 100% war score. Uh, doctor's ideas, whatever. Still 98%, huh? A blessed in his past. Who's this? Blessed Francois the Holy. I don't care about this dude. Blessed be his name. Hey, have you ever heard of La Baguette? Because I think that dude seems to be uh, a bit more of a saint than any of these boys ever were. Revoking titles. What a greedy man he was. Um, burn the apostate. I don't care. Please, I would like to see this kick off. Because this is, this is awesome. 100% war score. And we became a skilled fighter. Thank you very much. I want to see this happen though. Sur surrender it. Oh my god. The Children's Crusade won. Against all odds, the Children of Christ... Is this a likely thing to happen? Because I thought this was supposed to be very rare. The Children of Christ have succeeded. I mean, obviously, he's 20 years old now, so it's not really... Anyway, unlikely quest to recover Jerusalem. Hosts of archangels with shining armor and flaming swords have been reported to have descended upon the walls of the Holy City during the final battle, smiting the infidels, turning the defenders' weapons into rust, and melting their eyes out. Ah, oh, that seems very Catholic. Almeric now rules over the kingdom of heaven, and while few doubt it was through divine intervention that he was put there. Oh, few doubt it was through... Nice. There he is. Ray Amalric, the page of our lord of Jerusalem. Angelic blood. Cheaper crusader states. Inspired by the Holy Ghost, Ray Amal... Ara That's nice that he's got his own unique bloodline as well. That's so cool. That's actually very, very cool. I always believed him, and actually, we did. We were the only person to support this dude, plus 100 opinion of him. Look at that. Grateful, join my war. Both zealous, believed in me. That's a great ally to have. What a cool story all around. Anyway, um, diplomacy. How old are we? Are we 14? Okay. Almost ready to actually take control of our... Oh, can we choose a focus? Oh my god, I didn't choose a focus. Um, it's got to be diplomacy, right? No, no, I want to go into martial. Ah. I mean, it doesn't matter. Actually, it doesn't matter. They're all equally the same likeliness to, uh, for us to become good in them. 13, Marshall. Pretty good. I was going to go with Diplomat then, but honestly, we're, we're, you know, I think more determined for a Marshall sort of playthrough with this dude. A uh, more, more war-based playthrough, so this seems pretty good to me. You asked Baron Gargamel to teach how to act in court. Train Diplomat level 2. That's awesome. Like, that's genuinely just so good. This character's going to be all around just great. Um, you know, kind of ruining the whole focusing on a particular thing, but man... Level 3 fighter, level 2 diplomat, depending on his education as well. This guy could be our best character yet. I, I do like the idea of having a warrior character for once. Pledge peace. Uh, it's not really worth it. But apparently, factions, revolts don't count. But I'm still not going to do it just because 15 years of peace seems like a bad plan. That would have been great to have ch chosen that one when we were, you know, zero. The regency of Duke 2 has ended. It's time to find out what our education is. It doesn't even say over here yet. Ready? Tough soldier. Nah, okay. That's a bit shit. Um, kind of to be expected, though, seeing as he had nothing relating to a martial education, no traits. It Was it rowdy or willful? Didn't have either of those, so it's kind of expected that you would get either level 2 or level 3, because it's purely average. Um, new spy master. We could get ourselves a new spy master now, huh? but we've got so many things to do, 
851 gold as well. Why did, where did we get all that gold from? Was it winning the war? No, we didn't win the war. I have no idea. Anyway, we'll cover this next episode. Thank you all for watching. This has been a great, great episode for children across the world. Duke 2, no longer a child. The Crusader State of Jerusalem. Oh, God, they're already losing it. Well, easy come. He's going. Oh, my God, they've already lost it. Well, never mind, huh? Um, at least we actually got to see them succeed. And if he comes to our court, we could always marry him into our family and try and, you know, farm up the bloodline somewhat. And let's give a shout out to all of the insane top tier level patrons for making the series possible in the first place. A big thank you to Lucas Holting, Sean Thornton, Haydock Sidini, Tim Bragg, Loras, Croesus, Vacuous Bacchus, Josh Lendine, Tesla, Michael Mullen, Mora, Jacob Alexander Fenton, Pavis Presley, Suna Kirito, Conspire T, Jimbo, Orkswell, Facundo Vasquez, Tom Terror 18, Average Gamer 419 Escape, and Sassy 7011. Thank you all for your support the insane tier levels on Patreon. It is much appreciated. As I've said the past two series, but you might not watch those, so I'll say it here as well. We've had a lot of new patrons over the past couple of days, so I will make sure that the list is updated tomorrow with those new people on it uh obviously normally we'd have to wait for the till the start of next month for that new list but i will go ahead and manually make sure that that is all accurate so uh with speaking of which let's give a big shout out to nathaniel limberg euphrates i see the great jack allen wolfie james barnes betamus max panthapel gabriel van Dertz, luan and thomas nathan flores the sage euron de vries haji dumar alpha scuff dunk 127 zet mcdougall joseph beard jordan campbell harry mcgowan chris sir thor the swede Sir Death, Asero, Nick, Will Wade, Hancock, Noah Gallimore, Fraser Brennan, The Insane Pickle, and Adam Person.